Okay, my name's Adrian Pinder, I'm from Bournemouth University, and I'm also Director of Research at the Marseille Trust. Okay, well the humpback Marseille is one of the biggest freshwater fish in the world. It grows to enormous sizes, about 150 pounds in weight. So the fish was first brought to people's attention in 1873 in an old angling classic book called The Rod in India. Um, but that's when the name, the humpback Marseille, was first used. The problem we're facing is the humpback Marseille is heading for extinction. Um, there are very few fish left and the, what we're seeing is failed recruitment, meaning there's no young fish coming through, which means we've got an ageing population spiralling towards extinction. When you think about your more charismatic species that one might think about when you're talking about endangered species, you might think about things like the giant panda or the Bengal tiger. The panda is now classified as vulnerable and Bengal tiger is now endangered. So we're talking about a fish, a fish which represents megafauna, um, which is critically endangered. So yeah, there's a lot of work to do to save this species. When we started looking at angler data in 1998, we found that for every one humpback marsia that was being caught, um, there were four bluefin marsia being caught. By 2012, when that study ended, for every one humpback being caught, there were over 273 bluefins being caught. Um, so their proportion compared to the, the fish that have been introduced has um, dropped enormously. Based on its limited distribution um, and its population declines over the last few years, um, I have little doubt that this Marseille will be classified as critically endangered, um, which will make it the most imperiled of all the Marseille species currently valid of which there are 18 valid species across South and Southeast Asia to date. This paper gives a fish a name. It gives it a scientific name, which we can then use to move forwards, get the fish formally recognised, get it assessed on the IUCN red list, get it the protection that it requires so we can develop a strategy for saving this fish before it drops off the planet.